a tutorial. This is Straight Off the Runway. And with the eyes, this look was inspired by the peacock color trend. Inspired by blues, greens, purples, gemstone like colors, um, jeweled colors, and things like that. We're seeing a lot of metallics mixed with mattes, um, a lot of textures kind of coming together, which makes looks very fun and unique to create. Trending at the moment, and it's pretty much it. at the inner corner, you have a very dark greenish blue, and it goes straight all the way up to the eyebrow. It curves down. It's really hard to explain, but I will be having pictures so you can get a closer look at it. Everything else is pretty much matte with very kind of nude, frosty kind of pink lips. So very fun look, very dramatic. I know it's not really wearable, but this is super fun. Obviously, this look is not daytime whatsoever, and I'm completely aware of that. Please thumbs up, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Begin with a grayish silver cream base and apply the majority of that color to the lid. Then go ahead and take whatever's left on your brush and blend that upwards towards the eyebrow. Also go ahead and apply a little bit of that color to the lower lash line and blend with your finger. I'm then taking a black cream eyeliner pencil and applying that to my waterline as well as my lower lash line. And I'm also tight lining my eyes and the reason why we're doing this is because we're not going to be lining our eyes like we normally do for this look. This will give the illusion of a lot thicker and fuller lashes. Then I'm taking this dark brown shadow and applying it to the lid. I'm taking most of that shadow to the outer corner of the eye. Then I'm taking a pencil tip brush with that same color and applying it to my lower lash line for a smoked out effect. Reapply that color to the outer area to really intensify this look. You'll be surprised that if you just switch up your brushes while applying similar colors or the same color, you're going to get a really multi-dimensional look. Now this color is what makes this look stand out and the name of it is Fantasy Island and this color is really really bright teal so it's perfect for this look and I'm kind of wanting this look to have a point at the inner corner Although I don't want it to be too precise. So I'm applying it in a kind of padding motion as so. So it kind of has that kind of blended um, effortless look to it. And I'm creating this triangular kind of angle here. Um, kind of connecting to my eyebrow and pointing downwards toward the crease. And I'm just taking that brown color kind of swiping that back and forth to kind of clean up around the crease area and really just kind of have it all smoked out at the outer corner of the eye there. So now we're going back into that teal color and we're applying it right above the pupil of the eye. So we're just getting that central part of the lid and we're going to slowly connect that to the teal color that we added earlier. So we kind of get this diagonal line but it's not a perfect diagonal line. Go ahead and reapply your liner to really intensify your eyes and finish it off with lots of coats of mascara. Make sure to get the top as well as the bottom of that upper lash so that your lashes look a lot more thicker and fuller since we're not applying any liquid liner or anything like that. And to finish this look off, I'm applying this matte eyeshadow in the color Innocence to my cheeks. It's a very nice, warm sort of pink. And since the eyes are so intense and we have the nice, warm, flush cheeks, I decided to add this lip color. Um, it's more of like a frosty pink, so it adds sort of a cool toned effect to the whole look. So we have the dark dramatic eyes and the warm flush cheeks, and then we have that kind of cool color um, at the lips there. So that really completes the look. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you like.